So AutoCAD 2016 has introduced something called the System Variable Monitor. And what's great about this is that you can kind of set up um, your variables that seem to be switching kind of on their own. Um, and as a, you know, a CAD manager or system um, administrator, you can kind of help people that you know are, are changing these or they're not sure they're changing and things aren't behaving right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna type, um, I'm gonna type so that Let's say file DIA here. So I'm going to type file DIA and I'm going to set this to zero. And notice that right away, what's happening here is I'm getting this prompt here, system variable changed. So one of the modern monitored system variables has changed from the preferred value. So I'm going to click, click here to change. And what's going to do is it's going to launch the system variable monitor. So it's just a, a command that you can actually launch on its own. Like you don't have to have it fail um, to make this happen. But you can see that I've got mine set here to enable balloon notification and to notify me when these change. Um, so the idea is that it'll actually pop up that balloon, not just kind of highlighted here in the corner. And notice that right here, it's showing me that, well, this one is not the preferred value because the preferred value is actually one. And what I could do is come in here and I could actually um, you know, change this or what I could do is actually do a reset. And what it's gonna do is go through there and actually fix the file DIA for me. Now what Autodesk has done is kind of put the ones in here that you know most commonly get switched inadvertently. You know whether it's a Lisp routine, VMA macro, AutoCAD crashing, or the user just not quite sure what they're changing. Um, they've kind of put in you know the 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 top ten list here. You know the most frequently edit um, changed ones. Now at any point in time, what you can do is you can go into the edit list here and you can really add whatever system variable you want to the list. So maybe what I want to make sure is that, you know, this gallery view property, I don't want this to change ever. So I'm actually going to add that to the list here. So I'm going to add gallery view to the list. And I want to make sure that stays at zero, let's say in my case. So I'm able to edit the list. And this is something as a system administrator, CAD manager, you can actually push out so that everybody's looking at the, at the same list. So I'm going to click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go change that gallery view system variable now. Let's change that to one. And again, we get that, that pop up and you can see that it's flashing here in the corner saying, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me. And then I can just come in here and I can go in there and change that. So do reset all, I'll click OK and we can see that's updated. So again, that's the new system variable monitor, a great feature, um, not just for CAD administrators or system um, you know, administrators, um, really for everybody. So the, you know, as those system variables change inadvertently, you know that they're they're changing it before it's too late and you're trying to figure out what's happened.